We're down at the uh, surface level of Tropicana Field. Uh, there you see home plate looking out onto the playing field. Down here you'll see the artificial turf that they have at the stadium. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, meant to be like uh, natural grass and if you actually reach your hand down here you can see they have tiny little pellets, um, rubber pellets at times. These are, uh, these are gravel. Some places have rubber. These are gravel pellets. It's meant to simulate natural grass and give players more traction uh, when they're running for balls. Uh, it's a very different uh, surface from what the old AstroTurf used to be. It's a little softer on knees. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not as good as natural grass, but when you're indoors, it's very tough to keep a grass field. High above, uh, you'll see the roof of the state of Tropicana Field, and there are the famous catwalks. Uh, there's actually three of them, uh, three ring catwalks. Some players, Jose Canseco has actually hit one off the furthest catwalk, which is up there. Uh, you'll see that there. That's a pretty impressive feat. Um, I've actually seen him do it live. Uh, most players end up hitting the uh, the second catwalk that you see over there on their home runs. Uh, those are all balls in play, and uh, the third catwalk counts as a home run. I believe the second one's a ground rule double. We're going to take a walk across the field right now. Uh, we have to get special permission to do this, but uh, this is what it would look like if you were a uh, third baseman or a shortstop charging in on home plate. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's Rick Vaughn, head of public relations for the for the Tampa Bay Rays. He's been around forever. <laughs> One of the best known uh, PR guys in the game of baseball. <laughs> That I've been around forever, that is. Used to do the Baltimore Orioles back in their heyday, back before Peter Angelos ruined the team, but we won't get into that. <laughs> See, pitchers don't always just work in bullpens. They actually stand in the outfield and throw balls around. Rick's taking us right now to one of the more featured attractions here at Tropicana Field, which is where you could actually meet and pet a live ray. See some of the rays up there. They're in a, an aquarium right atop the uh, fence. Rick, has anybody ever hit a home run into that aquarium? Yeah, one. We've had one. It was uh, a visiting player, and right now, of course, I can't remember who it was. Oh, Gonzalez. Yeah, the Tampa Native. The Tampa Native. Wow. He's the only one that's uh, done that. Do you get a prize? You get uh, $5,000. Uh, the team will get $5,000 to the player's charity. The fans wow. here get to, uh, get to sit and look and uh, pet the pet the rays. Kind of funny looking, aren't they? <laughs> Wouldn't want to see them react to a home run ball. Do all they can to make this park a little more uh, fan friendly because it's obviously not the greatest to look at at times, but uh, they do make it interesting inside. Uh, you'll see here's a simulated sports baseball game that little kids like to play. Big grown up kids like to play it too. down here. If you look at uh, what they've done over here, they've actually put a dining area in behind the uh, behind the uh, short fence in right field. These people sit here during the game and they can actually uh, eat their food and tackle the outfielders. They're heading off the field, so it's time for me to get going, uh, get ready for this game. If you look up there, that's where I have to get walking to. Uh, I've got a little bit of a distance to go. Uh, and as you can see, some of my colleagues are probably already up in the press box, hard at work. Let's take a look. Ah, look over there on the left. There's John Hickey, the PI, and uh, Tim Hadley on the far left, uh, PR guy for the uh, Seattle Mariners. I think Hickey's sitting in my seat, so it's time for me to get going. Thanks for joining me on this tour, and stay tuned for the ball game.